Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can find uh, SIDs and stars, right? So standard instrumental departures and terminal approach routes using little nav map. The first thing which is really important that you have the latest version of little nav map, right? So when I go to uh, the top of the screen, you really need to make sure that you're running version 2.6.13. It has been updated of say, almost a month ago so we probably already have it but if you don't have it then make sure to go to the website and download the latest version once you did that it's critical to update the database and you can do that by uh, pressing the button i just pressed like the database button and then pressing load i will not do it and that will re import all the uh needed uh vors navigation routes but also the sids and stars once you completed that, you need to make sure that the Navigraph option is set to do not use Navigraph database. And you need to make sure that the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, option is selected. So if you did that, then you can continue with the next step, right? So you can search for airports as I've shown you in previous videos. For example, I can... Uh, find uh, Amsterdam Schiphol or I can find uh, Rotterdam Airport, right? You can double click on it and that will bring us to the airport. It will show us uh, the uh, waypoints, but also the information about the DME, uh, the glide scope, and of course some other information like okay, the ILS runway information. Uh, and if we would zoom into this, you can e even see the parkings and the ramps. That's all kind of cool. So once you did that, what you can do is you can right click on it and say, show all procedures. And previously, uh, several people reported, hey, this option is empty. And it was caused by the fact that in the scenery library, uh, this was said to do not use Navigraph database. Well, the good thing is that since the latest update of little nav map, it has the option to automatically import all the procedures which results in a full list being selected but it's really important to disable the uh, option uh, navigraph here that's also found in the release notes so let's have a look at the release notes right so or release notes add the procedures i should say so inside this you will find the, the procedures and as you can see when i click them or when i select one of them let me zoom out a bit it will show you the SID route. So in this case, when we're departing from runway 06, we can take this uh, stand instrumental departure route when we fly to the northern part of the Netherlands or to the northern part of uh, EMEA. When I select this one, it will go to the uh, east side. This one will make a turn and then we'll go south. This one also goes south, although different south more, more southeast etc right this the same thing you can do for the star so in case of a star right the uh, terminal approach route that will show you this and this is also where you we might think hey but uh, when i take this star for example i select star uh, which uh, starts at uh, charlie oscar uh, yeah charlie oscar alpha it will only show me how to come to Rotterdam, uh, which is an NDB beacon, right? That's correct, because the star routes, as you will find in multiple programs, sometimes do include the approach, but in some cases they don't include the approach. So in this case, the star route is the first part, and this is where the approach route, uh, I would say, starts, right? So. If we would now select approach ILS uh, 06, then you will be able to see, okay, hey, this is the approach route for ILS 06. If we uh, select ILS uh, 24, then it will show us this. You can see that there are, are some, some weird things here because normally it should, I would say, almost be, uh, I would say, a continuous route. So right from Rotterdam, it will continue, it should continue with the other uh, approach points or other waypoints here and it looks like that, that piece doesn't work yet right so let me select another one to see if it changes no 
it's not there, right? You can see it brings you to Rotterdam, but after that, it will not go via the approach. And that's also visible, right? If you will expand this one, it shows you, hey, transition full, uh, Rotterdam, uh, which makes sense because, uh, where is it? Let me see, ROT. So it starts at uh, Echo Hotel 250, which is uh, here. And then transition full either via uh, Masos or Rotterdam. So you can select it here and then you will see, okay, hey, this is the transition full. So don't select the upper one because that will only show you, I would say, the straight line in. Always look at the transition because uh, remember when you're assigned uh, an approach, it's always say, okay, hey, you need to transition via and then it calls, okay, either Rotterdam in this case or STD. So if we select Rotterdam, that's the approach which we need to take. So the star will bring you to the starting point of the approach. And then once we're here, we can take the approach route and then follow the route uh, via Papashera, then make the turn and then fly straight into uh, Rotterdam Airport. So keep that in mind, don't select the top values, but expand this menu. Let me show it a little bit closer. Expand this menu. And here you will see transition full, ROT, initial fix is ROT, which means that's the starting point. Select it and then you can use it, right? When we look at the star points, you don't see them, right? You see the initial fix and the track to fix, which means that if, for example, we select this one, it has the initial fix, and then we've got the track to fix, which eventually ends up at ROT. For the SIDs, it's different. As you can see, when I expand them, it simply says, hey, runway 24, and then these are the uh, waypoints we're going to visit, and then eventually uh, we will end up at a certain endpoint. And so if we, for example, select this one, we will end up at uh, Woody. Uh, let me zoom out again. Uh, Woody is located uh, here, right? So it's located uh, almost to the Belgian border. So in this video, we looked at how you can use the SIDs and stars and approach routes using Little Nav Map 2.6.13. It's really important. You need to update to the latest version. Also remember, you need to disable the option to not use the Navigraph uh, database. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the video or in the comment box below the video. Of course, not in the video itself, that's impossible. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.